Hi friends, today I'm going to do the Gassy Pass, the story of farts by Shinto, Shinta Cho. When an elephant farts, the farts are really big. Barm, barm. People fart too. Bubbles rise. Blip, blip, blip. When you eat or drink, you swallow air. If you eat or drink in a big hurry, you swallow a whole lot of air. The air that escapes through your mouth becomes a burp. Burp! When it comes out the hole of your bottom, it's a fart, also called passing gas. Brum, brum. Besides coming from the air you swallow, farts come from the gases found in your large intestine. These gases are made when leftover food, food that your body doesn't use, is broken down by bacteria, rots, and becomes poop. That's why farts stink. A healthy person releases almost half a cup of gas in a single fart. In one day, just over two cups of gas are released in farts. If you try too hard to hold your farts, your stomach may hurt. You could get dizzy or you could get a headache. Don't hum hold them in. Pass that gas. When you begin to fart after an operation, it means your intestines have started working again. Some farts smell bad and some don't. When you fart after eating meat, fish, eggs, or things like that, your farts smell really bad. When you fart after eating sweet potatoes or beans, they don't smell very much at all. That's why the farts of animals that eat meat smell so terrible. Broom, broom. The farts of animals eat things like potatoes and grass, such as elephants, rhinos, and hippos. Don't smell that bad, but eating potatoes or grass causes lots of gas to build up their intestines, which makes them fart a lot. Animals such as skunks and stink bugs protect themselves by letting out smelly fluid from near the holes in their bottoms. This is not farting, skunk and a stink bug. And that's the story of farts. Fare thee well. Bye bye.